Welcome back to this Sparta Let's Play. In the last part, we took Tylus up here in the north, and in this part, we're going to look to land in Italy and start attacking the Romans. So something that I do need to bear in mind when attacking the Romans is they do have different culture to us. They've got the Roman culture, whereas our, well, almost all our settlements are Greek culture. So I'm going to take big public order penalties when occupying these settlements, and it also means that I can't use their military buildings to recruit our units. So even if Tarentum has a tier 3 barracks, I can't use it to recruit hoplites or retrain the hoplites. So it just means that conquering might be quite slow because I can't replenish my armies as I go. It means I'm going to have to start sending reinforcements over from Greece as I do move forward there. It actually means that Sort of invading east would be easier than going west because a lot of factions in the east do have the Greek culture, such as the Seleucids here. And in this mod, the Egyptians are also a Greek faction. But I would like to go for Rome just because I think that's kind of the point of the game um, and it makes for better, better gameplay. So I do have a fleet which is ready to land here. And there's a Roman fleet here of one unit, and Trentum has a small garrison, as does Croton. Both only one unit. So what I'm going to do is, I don't need a full stack to take Trentum or Croton, so I'm going to basically, basically land with a kind of small portion of this force in both cities, and then potentially move around to Capua up here in the north as well. So I'm just going to attack this Roman fleet here. We do outnumber it vastly, so... This should be a clear victory. As there's a small Roman force outside. So I'm going to land with a decent amount of troops here, but not too many. I'll take about seven units of hot plates and three units of cav. And we'll attack. Tarentum. I think it just has the, the the wooden wall, sorry, so I'll just get the two rounds there. And now I'm going to take this boat down to Croton. Yes, sir. Leaving the army. This and we can attack yes, Croton in this turn as well. Yeah, so all going well, we should be able to sir. conquer two settlements in the next turn and then I'm going to, just going to move the fleet round just to see yes, what is down here so I can't quite see which faction owns this but I do want to get other forces ready to reinforce what we have in Italy so in Sparta I'm just going to rec keep recruiting the armor top lights and in Thermon I want to to Ambracia. Yeah, Ambracia is the sort of main military recruiting town. So they're already recruiting armor top lights. Got a good force in Corinth and in Athens as well. Just recruit some hot lights in Athens and Ambracia. We might get attacked here in the north, but we do have a good garrison in Tyler, so I'm not too worried about that. So with that, I think Oh, I do have two governors over here So I'd like to move some generals out of there because they're obviously kind of wasted in that settlement Just turn up taxes to very high And I think I shall pass turn that Right, so Rome have attacked us. They brought in some reinforcements as well. Nothing too good. It's mainly a start eye, a couple of units of Prince Space. Or four, five units of Prince Space. Alright, let's jump into this. The ferryman will be busy today. The enemy have brought more men to fight. 
Right, so Rome are the aggressor here. Most of their forces are just reinforcements. Just looking for if there's any hills we can take advantage of. It doesn't look like it, so I'm just going to set up as normal. Oh wait, I think there is a hill here actually. So we can take advantage of this. Just going to get the guys into position here. Their general it is. So the Romans did bring in a big reinforcing army, which I obviously didn't foresee. Looked like they had most of their troops in Greece. If their general comes straight out here, then we will obviously need to go deal with him. Looks like they might. I'm just going to spread out the cavalry here. We've got a few units of missile cav. And he can't deal with three units at one time. Oh, it's a starter unit. So if we deal with their general here, then that puts them at a big disadvantage. They're already tired. And they're about to go ahead. So I'm going to take the militia cab out of firing mode and just charge in here. And that's them routing. Pursue them! Drive them from the battlefield! Yeah, so now we've got their general, they will take some big morale penalties. The enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us! It is time to press the attack! And they've got some calf coming around here, I think. So I'm gonna have to make my army run, unfortunately. Cavalry up to there. Okay, so it's not a Chamberlain's bodyguard, which is good. So we're nearly into position here. Need to make sure that we don't get flanked. And I'm happy for him to charge into a spear wall. If I send the cab in there, I'll probably end up just losing it. Being 
Okay, I would just send in the carpet. Don't want the fire missiles on our uh, cock plates. They're very tired. So we should be able to win against these in combat, because we're just winded. Uh, I do need to do something about this. Okay, they've routed. So let's get them back here, and... Is that a general's bodyguard? Just equities. Okay, they've routed. Fortunately, we've lost the unit in the process. Now, it looks like they're going to send the equities in here. It's another bodyguard unit, so I'll keep the cav around just in case I need to flank. They've come back from writing, that's good. So, here we go. Okay, so let's use the card to pull up here. Hopefully we can kill the general. Before he gets away. Fortunately, their card is quicker than mine, it looks like. Yep, we're not going to get him. And the general does come back from routing, so unfortunately, we did not get him. I need to give uh, the cab a rest here, they're all very tired. Still tired, very tired, yep. so just need to let them rest. Now they're just down to winded. So the cavalry are now not fatigued. I might actually use the uh, edge of the battle map so they don't get flanked here. There's the general at the back, the equities that we didn't manage to kill off.
They're all very tired, looks like they've been running over. Which is going to be good for us. I'm going to see if I can use my cavalry here to take out the archers. Yeah, because they're so fatigued, they all route quite quickly. Yep. I don't want to go into the principes with our cav here. The principes are very strong units. But I do want to go and see if I can get their general. Okay, so it looks like they're routing fairly quickly here. The enemy general is running away. Yep. This is and and way for the unlike the last time I fought the Romans, I do have sufficient cavalry to pick off their units as they route here. Just need to make sure I actually kill the general here. As opposed to just routing him. The enemy general is yep. slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. So that's him dealt with. Just gonna keep the curve around here. Actually, might use uh, one of them is routed. That's not so good. I just want to take one and use it to deal with this arch unit. It's doing a lot of damage. And I don't want to fight the Hostata with this carve. just want to use it to deal with routing units. Fortunately, I'm losing the car quite quickly. And our car didn't come back from routing, so that's unfortunate. Okay, so there's a fair chunk of forces that I need to try and kill off with this cavalry. Looks like they've you nearly know, all routed. But I need to try and take them out. So, we're doing okay here. Unfortunately, a lot of their forces won't come back from routing. Attack! 
So what I need to do is essentially just reform the line and then try and beat them back. So we're going to get regrouped here. And we do... They have taken out most of their forces, but... Um, yeah, they're going to come back from routing, so... Do need to go back and get the siege equipment. So we're going to take the line back over to the siege equipment. Cavalry auxiliary. Yeah, we'll grab the line, bring it back over here. And go for the cavalry there. Fortunately, we're taking some missiles. Fortunately, there's no towers that are close to the gate there. Go, go, go. The cav won't be that useful in the, in the city, so... Our soldiers have reached the gates with the battering ram! The enemy gate yep. is down! That's the gate down. So, we should just be able to push in here with our hoplites. Keep the general close. Go, go, go. It's uh, slightly oddly out, but... Okay, so we can go around this way, that's fine. Now we need to get away from the missiles here. Hopefully it doesn't get a lucky shot off on the general. But it does happen. Okay, so this is the battle for the square. They don't really have much units left. Just a couple of units around. Prince Bays and what's this over here? My start eye. Okay, yeah, so I'll just fast forward this. Should be fairly straightforward I think. Okay, so we've taken the square. There are a few Roman units about. You need to bear in mind the time here. So I will win as long as none of the Roman units get to the square. So I'll just keep the cab on the square. And then defend it from any units that come. We've got one minute to win this. And that's it. We've won the battle. So I'll end it there. We took a fair few losses, but I inflicted a lot of losses as well. And the militia cav did a lot of the damage there. 500 kills and one militia cav unit. Right, so we have taken the first Roman settlement in Italy.
they did send a large force there down to Dakar, so I'm hoping that might be most of their stacks in Italy. So, because of the difference in culture, I am going to exterminate just because it's going to cause us big public order penalties if we don't. The faction goes. So the Romans seem to continue sending stacks over to Greece, even though we are in Italy. Ready to sail. So I did want to take the boat round to see who owned these settlements up here, just to see if it is still room, but I won't be able to get round with this boat here, and I don't want to declare war on Masana. So I'm actually just going to send this boat back to Sparta to pick up reinforcements. As you can see here that Tarentum does have the low public order and it's as a result of the culture penalties. So if I bring up the settlement details, culture penalty minus 50 and unrest minus 50. Room minority is causing unrest in the settlement. Okay, so it is pretty well built up. It's got the tier 4 barracks but unfortunately we can't really use that, so... Okay. So, in terms of where we want to go... Next. I do want to hit Croton. So I'm just going to... Lay Siege here. It's only got one unit, so not expecting much trouble here. I'm just going to auto resolve. And I shall enslave. Put Sparta up to the next tier. Right, so we've now taken two settlements here. And I do want to sort of convert some of these buildings so I can start recruiting instead of having to rely on bringing forces over. So I think it won't be long before Rome send another stack. That's the marsh, so we can start building our own buildings here. Let's get the dockyard and the Right, the strange show that that can be a sort of military recruiting settlement. And we're going to repair stuff here and get the militia barracks as well. Just so that we can start recruiting units here. Probably makes sense to get a large mine just to get that gold coming in. And we do have a lot of money as we did exterminate, so just going to start investing in the economy here. The roads. Roads and crop rotation. We'll get the crop rotation and the roads. Same here with roads. And upgrade to Governor's Palace here. Get the ship right and crop rotation. Rotation here. Roads and mines. Okay, so we've we've invested almost all that cash into the economy, so in the next four turns, when a lot of our buildings will come to fruition, we should, should see a large increase in income per turn. As so we get another general, that's good. And I'll just pass turn there. And Trentum and Croton are both rioting because of the public order penalties. We'll turn down the taxes here. I'll hopefully have an impact as Rome has two bits here none of which have any forces on them I'm just going to attack these well I could either attack those two fleets or I could bring over reinforcements from Sparta because these towns are both quite low 
in terms of number of troops, and I can't really move them out. I think I need to go back to Sparta to get reinforcements. Yes, sir. Yes, Captain. Yes, sir. So I'll grab a bunch of the hot bites from here. Probably bring over. Yes, my lord. Oh, there's a big Roman stack here. My lord, my lord, sir. Probably need about six units of hot bikes to defend the city, so I feel like I can bring over that many units safely. And I'll bring them onto the boat. So that's us with about nine units, which is a half stack. And then in Athens, we can board with a few more units. And I can retrain the boats as well, so that's a good idea. Get one more unit of armoured hot bites here, and get two units of hot bites in Athens. So by the time we go around, should be able to pick those up. Unless I just recruit them in Ambrosia, it's probably a better idea. Yeah, so I'm not going to bother going up to Athens then. That would take me too many times, so I'll just head back to Ambracia and then head over to Italy. Ships ready. Yeah, I'll just make sure that I'm recruiting everywhere. We'd like to move the general out of here, but not much I can do about that. You just want to keep stacking up the units. I need to have reinforcements ready to go in most places. Okay, I spent all the money, so let's move to the next step. Let us now talk reasonably. Uh, there's rumor requesting a ceasefire for 3,000 gold, so I'll take that now. I will still attack them, but it's worth taking the gold. Our thanks. They are actually nearly as strong as us, so they must have a lot of settlements. Faction treasury, boundless. <laughs> okay. As the Metagers. Right, so we are now ready to bring a force over. There's one unit of armor top lights I want to move onto the boat here. And then I'm just going to head up to Ambrosia as this boat continually gets stopped by the rebels there. And we do have. Four units farming top lights here, but the Romans are quite close. Fortunately, no generals about. It's really worth converting Tylus as well. Get the city barracks there. Ready to sail. I'll bring over. Two units cav from. Well, I can't move the boat till next turn now, anyway, so I might as well just get another unit of cav in. Thermon and more armor top plates here. Okay, so I think this is where I will end the episode. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. In the next episode, I think we're going to look to head north and try and take more Roman cities, but. Uh, Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.